Hey guys, Wim79 here and welcome with a brand new video. This is gonna be a long one, I say it in advance. This is video 3, the rate of April 2024 fatal flaw. Uh, again, if you see me looking there, that's because that's where my uh, screen info is. I know the webcam is there, but oh well, it is what it is. So. On the left side, for those who are new, welcome. You got the menu, so you see point one video intro via that, that. Afterwards, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, BPN Discord info, also a little bit about the rate info in there, stuff that I already posted. Next up, we are going to the target. So my Prowler X1 setup, do keep in mind that I love auto. So my builds are made for auto. My videos are made for auto combat. After that, number four, level 102, rate target. Number five, level 103, rate target. Number six, level 900, rate target. That's the co-op. And then number seven, we have the video outro. So the link to my um, BPN Discord, I'm going to share in the description, in the YouTube description, like I did with the previous one. So we are going to barge straight in. For number two... I'm gonna BPN Discord info. I'm gonna swap away the overlay from my OBS software to regular screen and show you Discord because I got a few requests from people saying, I don't have Discord. Can you do a little bit about that? Uh, guide us a little bit about that. So I, I can do that and combine it with the raid info and Myrmidon, a new assault ship tier 13 info that I already posted. So let's barge in. We're gonna jump over so this folks is discord it's kind of um social media like like you could say instagram or or even tiktok or or facebook or the difference is this is more game based voice uh, talking with each other voice channels uh, screen sharing with each other so i'm gonna guide you you can see my mouse if i hover it it's getting bigger so on the left side here you got your channels that you're following discord channels to find a discord channel that's the problem if this channel has under thousand people like bpns you can't look it up there is not a search tool for it so you need a link you need a link to click on that brings you to here once you're here you're a member it's as simple as that so that link can be found on my um on my uh, Battle Pirate Nexus Facebook page. So just go to Facebook, type in Battle Pirate Nexus. It's a community. On the top of that, top post is pinned there. You got the link for my Discord or in the comments of this YouTube video, I will add the link to this Discord also. So you click on it and you see, should see this logo here, BPN Discord server. All the rest is, so if you click on that, this is the, the, uh, the Kickside channel from um, Discord, and this one is mine. So I'm gonna build it up so you go from the left to the right side of the screen. So these are your Discord channels. Here you have your categories. Start here, gameplay, BP build and info, voice chat, one, two, three, four. Private, that's just for me and a the moderator. These four, are the ones that are used for you all. So you click on it to expand, you click on it to collapse it, makes itself. So you got, in this category, you got channels. These are called channels. In channels, you can create threads depending on its setup. So you got the rules, this is read only. I can type here, you guys can't. You got the welcome, that's for me to see who joined and when. Alliance tags, people can do a post here to put their alliance tag. And then here, I add a role to that, they're grouped together. So you can see all these people are BPL, my alliance, DSCS, DO1, F4F, GIMPs, uh, let be gay, stuff like that. Under that BPL explained, screenshots of a little bit about the Discord. What's new here is I update that daily. So you can see today I did this, yesterday I did that, you can go back. BP history has some screenshots about the game, really old ones. Kickside news and Kickside calendars are um, 
channels that are linked directly to the Battle Pirate uh, Discord. So as soon as they update here, mine also get updated. So Pixi News gives everything from uh, raid announcements to games changes to whatever. And the Kixi calendar gives the monthly calendar. Fallen Captains is a section for people who passed away for a tribute. You can't add to that. You gotta send the info to me and I can add it here. Lit returning players, I try to um, help people out who come back after the year of uh, to the game after being away. BPN polls is where I try to create some polls in between, and then you have the hearts. You need to click on that to vote because it's a read-only page. You can't comment on that to keep it clean and simple. BPN fan art is yeah BPN fan art. People can post here. Um, Kixi art. Uh, stuff from from the game player blueprints king of memes so that's the start here section under that we have gameplay we click on it you got general this is the general chat as most people have you can talk here about anything game related etc campaigns and this is where it kind of begins to show what's possible so this is not uh, text only this is more yeah a uh, uh, thumbnails vibe so these are all threads so <coughs> these are all the campaigns that i grouped up so if you say oh here what's this lockdown this is about the prowler if you click on it the game sp the screen splits in two so this is the prowler this is everything that i have about the prowler campaign scroll up to the beginning so uh the build fleet to use uh the the screenshots for the targets 4k etc so uh, where to enter what uh, what to use so stuff like that click to leave it exit it so that's campaigns all these are based like this with with threads inside the channel so weekly fm shows the weekly fm if there comes a new target i create a new thread the prizes that it gives uh, new prizes that are added points etc everything is there rates the same every rate we're now doing the fatal flaw well here you click on it everything for the fatal flaw is in it so as i said before i'm gonna say something about it so there is an outpost uav gun on it you gotta be careful when you refit it because if you click on the refit it's gonna give you this and say it's 13 hours above the full uh, base part. So what you gotta do is you gotta one fill up on base parts, two remove the outpost gun that you have, three fill back up on base parts, four fit the new out uh, UAV outpost gun on it, and then you'll see here it's instant. It doesn't take you anywhere. So uh, it's like swapping a portal wall. Now, if you click somewhere and you say, ooh, it's kind of small for me. I can't see. You see my mouse. Hover here at the bottom. Open in browser. You open the picture in the browser. Then here you go to the top right. I'm using Chrome. You click on those three dots. And here you got zoom. So you press the plus key and you can zoom in. And as you can see, 400%. My picture quality is insane. I've always been a firm believer in high quality. So, yeah, that should be always good. This works everywhere on the Discord, on any Discord for that matter. So, it's not only on mine, on every Discord. It, it, will, it will work like that. I think I just yeah, swapped screens. So, um, there. So yeah, for the OP gun, don't forget that very important. VXP weekend, every VXP weekend there is, I create a thread about it. So all the info is in there also. Same for bounty, every bounty you can. And then here at the bottom left, you can see this has 88 pictures, 91, 102. So I really go above and beyond with screenshots. There is not a single player out there that makes as many screenshots about the game as I so yeah pillage everything from pillage i started july 2023 so as you can see before that i was managing battle pirate nexus on facebook but i wanted to try something else so i swapped over to discord but 
while jumping to Discord, I stopped the Facebook. So it's now all here that you got to go. Bonus events. And this is stuff like, yeah, uh, Beach Party, uh, Krampus Night, Spring Reckoning, uh, Snow Brawl. Every extra event that they do, I create um, this also. But there are not that many in a year. So normally four, I think four or five. So yeah, it's doable. Under that, we got BP Builds and Info. We click on that. Now here it's you got tech stuff, OP16, 15 designs, uh, then the ships, PVE, so you got your ships assault, ships garrison, ship siege, ship skirmish, then you got two ships, the, uh, the PVP, conqueror defender, you got your Hyperion, the mega, and then you got the turret setup. So you click on it. Tech stuff is kind of hmm, hard to explain, but... Um, Tech stuff has like all the tech you can imagine. Um, I had a, a picture album for it on my Facebook also. And yeah, it's like Battle Pirate Mod, Base Planner 101, the L key for the locator. Comparisons. I love my comparisons. Uh, 12 days of Kicksmas, uh, all the info there for each day. Uh, goofy things like here. Um, who is that defender? I took that from uh, who is that Pokemon. So if you click on it, it's it's simple stuff like here. Um, if you hit a base and you think, whoa, what skin is that? What defender? Well, this is the fire breeder, all the skins, the horror, all the skins, pitbull, all the skins, the dread husk, two skins, then the golem and the wolf's bane, but they don't have a skin. So I just put the regular one there. So yeah, stuff like that. What else is there? Um, Outpost 16, when they arrived that, I added everything in it. So every building, every upgrade can be found here with the screenshot. Uh, same with the Saw Factory 6 that we got a while ago. Everything about the mine, about the upgrade time, everything everything is, in, is to be found in this thread. Um, yesterday I did a comparison for the Tier 12 and Tier 13 Defenders. So this is all the blueprints stacked next to each other and then again open in browser and then hit the zoom key plus 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 to let it fit so you got your fire breeder here picture then you got the info at the bottom you got the u1 horror the text stuff at the bottom you got the u1 then pitbull the Dread Husk, the Golem, and the Wolf's Bane. So yeah, all that can be found here. Gotta close that and then jump back to uh, this. So yeah, uh, next up I plan on editing. Um, this is about hardware that I'm using. Elgato Stream Deck. It's a... Uh, um, LCD button macro keyboard, mini keyboard that you can use for all sorts of things. I'm going to update this one of these days. Beneath that, we got Outpiece, Outpost 16 design. Click. So uh, 12 designs so far, the regular info post here. So you click on it. This is the latest that I have, Outpost 16 base design. You click on it, and I always use five pictures. So I got zoomed out. 4k base planner screenshot zoomed out same one but the land only then zoomed in 4k base planner 4k zoomed out base view 4k zoomed in base view so it's yeah this and this yeah. click on it and click somewhere else to go away so i i get these from top metal players i screenshot I got the grid overlay to extrapolate the base design. I've been doing this since 2017. I looked it up. I was the first to create the grid overlay. There are other pages who are following me with that also now, but created their own grid overlay. But I'm not sharing mine, but I do share the base designs that I get. So uh, with OP16, we are now at number 12. I'm ready up until number 16. I got four more stack stacked away so um outpost 15 is right under it that's older designs i made 55 of those in half a year safe to say you won't find any other page out there that is sharing 
so much info grouped up as here especially base designs people don't like sharing base designs outside their alliance but here you can find them of course the tweaking etc yeah you gotta you gotta do that yourself or ask help or also these are not my designs i do not create base designs i just get them with my grid overlay from good metal high metal holding players so yeah after that ship assault click i just added the myrmidon info so you click on it and here you can see so you got my thumbnail then uh, you always start a new ship with the armors in the fm introduced here afterwards you got a pillage where you get normally the limited weapons and the engine and then you got the raid we're doing that now where you got the whole the regular weapon uh, and two ship specials and then yeah i added the shipyard empty uh, build time i'm going with four of these just empty ones for the vxp week kent for the vxp week and next week so that and then you can go up to tier 11 i'm not i didn't went any further back that wasn't uh useful anymore so the same with garrison the covenants then triari arcs gambits the sieges are here the skirmish everything is there so like now we're using the prowler so that siege if you click on it uh here you can see when there were time limited offers the latest builds uh, the ship build codes a little bit of extra info that i give so yeah i'm doing the targets for auto i tried to auto everything that's kind of my thing so skirmish then your conqueror holes people don't like sharing that but uh I'm on an alliance, but I'm not on that alliance build page. I ask that from the bet. So all the page, the builds that I post here are mine. I use them. I coin test them. I do not get any info from my alliance or whatever. So I, I, I do my own thing here and I try to keep it like that. So the Baron is here, Ares, Paragon, Contagion, Hololite, Helmos, U1s are also there. So yeah, same for the defenders, Wolfbane, Golem, Dreadhusk, Pitbull, Horror, fire breeder uh these two have the u1 also the commodo is here i suggest do not use the commodo that's the only one that's fully outdated i'm just keeping it here because it's here from the bed but it's outdated so do not use that next channel is the hyperion so everything about the hyperion so all the modules you can find here then uh the engine is here the drone bridge uh it's tech this is kind of updated version then here my setup that i'm using with a screenshot for it so all the info be sure to check it out last but not least here we got the turret setups there are old ones in here there are new ones in here i suggest go with the new ones see what you can do with the older ones to use your um power transformers because at this point in the game we don't really need them so i suggest stick with the latest in other words the executioner 3 the helix launcher the ionic railgun and the mine melder scatter gun all the rest is extra all the rest is extra uh, but do not use any of the older heavy ones like heavy pack armageddon scatter do not please even heavy battle bypass gatling gun do not bother with that anymore go with the executioner the helix the ionic railgun or the mine milder go with those and for the rest yes yeah, stack it up with like mortar turrets i gotta add those or some cryo adders or a glacial launcher stuff like that do keep in mind that these things will uh, interflict with ice mines so you gotta do keep that in mind so last but not least here we got the voice chat you got general up to 25 people streaming if you want to stream stuff 25 people you got three in one that's kept to three people one on one if you want to talk with a friend and then here for me you guys can see it for every alliance that's wants to i create a private uh chat voice chat message that where people can talk with each other unless i'm invited i can see them but unless i'm invited i will not join I will not join if i see two people talking there i'm not gonna jump in because i own this discord if i'm not invited i will not join you guys so and that's kind of the the that is kind of the bpn discord server in a nutshell so on the right side here you can see who is online 
stuff like that. So I would say be sure to have a look at it, uh, follow it, etc. Next up, we are gonna swap over to Prowler setup. So I'm gonna load the game. And we're going to have a look at the Prowlers. Prowlers are X1. Previous raids I was using started with Prowlers X1. And I was doing the 100, the 101s and the 500. Co-op target on auto. And now I'm doing, still using the same setup. No refit. I'm doing the 102, 103 and the 900 target on auto. So we are now going to talk about that. So click. The flag is set, as, set up as a high evade ship. And with high evade, I truly mean high evade. This thing has an evade of 93.02. Uh, the ship build code for this is on the Discord. So if you want to see it, if you say I can't see it on this video, go to my Discord. Ship setups are shared there. This thing is X1. So we're going to go quickly over it. What is on it? Um, Insulated Charge Capacitator, Guidance Scrambler 3, Skulker Engine, Evade Upgrade, Lowered Cannon Mount 2, Whisper Wave Accelerator, Armors I'm using 2 times the Zintonite Armor D5 EV, then for weapons I got the Icarus Heavy Ballista, I'm using this for extra evade, Three times the disintegration thrower, and then one, two, three, four, five times the siege cannon D35S, extra combat speed, etc. So the fleet has the same speed. That is the evade flag. All the rest are damage based. They're all four are the same, and they're made to do auto. Do keep that in mind. If you say, oh, I follow uh, videos from other players, and there are a lot of awesome uh, video players out there. Um, I, I always do shout outs. I can hope, only hope they do the same to me. But you got people like uh, TSM, uh, Crying Lady, Derpy the Cow, Billy the Moderator. The other day I found a new one that I'm following, Chris. Not sure what alliance he is with, but they do amazing videos all in their own way, like uh, driving. I think I'm the only one who does auto driving some that share their builds others don't it's a personal choice it's like i'm not gonna say how someone else should do a video so uh, if you look at everything sometimes you're gonna say okay i already seen this but you will always pick something up if you look at everyone's video you will always pick something up so shout out to all those people and yeah so we're gonna have a look, close look at this video so at this setup this is the damage one for auto to keep that in mind very important radioactive battery 2 insulated charge capacitator super riot shells whisper wave accelerator viscosity regulator 3 skulker engine then armors i go with one of each so you got one z6r and one z6c armor then you got the heavy weapon that goes with it the flame veil heavy thrower and then you got six seven eight of the limited weapons disintegrator thrower will this work if i don't have the limited weapon yeah you will take a little bit more damage because it takes a little bit longer to kill the target but it will work just fine row crews what are we gonna use i am not gonna use anything because i'm maxed out with row crews and i'm gonna show those also but it's yeah, kind of. I should use them more. It's it's insane what I have for the moment. What I suggest, however, is if you say, I want to use one, what should I use? Well, um, the Uncommon Steelheads is the best one that you can use, period. That or the Sea Serpents for extra weight. But my, I always say go with the Steelheads. You can't do wrong with that. Um, if you say, I want to drive, I don't have a full X1 fleet. I'm getting a little bit more damage. Uh, Go with the Grease Monkeys. You can never do wrong with the Grease Monkeys. It's strong. You got the half repair, extra defense, extra, uh, yeah, extra defense, half repair, not extra damage. That's a demo. So, yeah. Next up, where is my, ah, here it is. So, I'm 103 at 100. I'm a collector. In other words, I love the legendary ones. I, I like keeping one of each around 
try not to use them some i stocked up on for a rainy day so yeah as you can see here lots of them those are indeed gobblers so one two three four five six times four that's 24 plus one i got 25 gobblers um what else is there i got three free rangers so i should be using one of those one of these problem is don't have half repair time on them so that's why i'm reluctant to use them for the rest yeah all all specials ah here uh also a one that doesn't drop that often anymore disciples of skullduggery i kept those around also one two three so that's 12. then demos one two three four five times four that's 20 demos grease monkeys i love using grease monkeys that's my legend crew that i roll and i actually use from time to time if i come across a, a really hard target i will use the grease monkeys one two three four four times four sixteen seventy eighteen of those and for the rest yeah i got the uh, silver salty dogs ready for next week's vxp weekend to rank my myrmidons I got uh, another junkyard dogs ready for when my current one expires. And my current one is a silver grungy gunner. Yeah, it's a silver grungy gunner. Right no, no, no. It's a silver heart tech Harry. That's what I have on for the moment on my base guard. So, yeah. So, that in general. We're now going to jump to the next item. And that is the level 102 rate target we are gonna do this on auto so no row crew no driving few extra infos the level 102 has a fixed entry what does that mean it doesn't matter at what angle that you hit it on the map do you come in from the left the right the top the bottom it doesn't matter because you always come in at the same point in the target problem now is finding one should be here so ah here level one or two now you can use the locator if you really can't find one l4 locator then here event tier xs then here and click on it and you go so yeah i was looking but you can use the locator also attack locator always has targets for raid pillage kind of every event that's going on so if you can't find stuff it's useful to you use it like that so join let go this is auto so i'm i'm gonna zoom in well not really because it's auto so i don't gotta show what it does um the white turrets show the range but the rest kind of doesn't there are extra turrets i'm gonna zoom in on that so here is an, a long range turret you can't reach it but it gets destroyed after you kill this out outpost same here this is a long range turret you can't reach it but you can kill it by uh killing this you can always launch a missile at it a pinch or whatever but i i don't see the need for it not with the fleet that i'm having so gonna have a drink while this autos you can see the range now on the op not sure what that does or if there is a weapon on the outpost i'm gonna have a look there is still one here so is there a weapon on it no no weapon on it so it will do something that's a fact <clears throat> normally i but between eight and nine minutes repair on this on auto so people who are driving it is like less than five minutes it's instant map repair haven't tried the uh, steelheads on it yet for the simple reason yeah i'm i'm full with the row crew so i can't the reason why i love auto is because i always had something going on with battle pirate nexus either it was the facebook group or it was now the discord server i always take screenshots for that so while doing that it's handy to auto now in combination with my new hardware that i get here i have a, a 57 inch uh, samsung odyssey 
screen. It's amazing. It shows literally the middle section of the screen. It's recording now because half on the left, half on the right. It's double as big. It's two 4K screens next to each other. So it's 12 minutes 53. Normally it's it's 8, 9, but still. I think I haven't tried it yet because I always group them up and, and repair. But it could be that this is instant-based repair. Let's have a look. If it's not, I'm going to coin it. I don't have time for it. It's a video, so... Uh, remove, 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 remove. No, it's not instant, and I'm not going to wait. I don't have the patience for that, so... Uh, instant repair. Okay. I got the pop-up. And that's why it's not letting me do what I want to do. There. So, next up, we are going to the level 103 raid target. The level 103 does not have, I repeat, does not have a fixed entry. So where do you enter it? You got the right side, you got the bottom right side, and that's where we're going, to the bottom right side. I tried bottom right, I tried top right, that's kind of the same. Do not come in from the left side. You're gonna regret that because the fleet is gonna split up and you take way too much damage. So bottom right is what I suggest for the 103. So I'm not gonna zoom in here either because it's auto. So yeah. Again here the white ones have range. Um, this OP should take out one of the guns. Not sure which one. Let's have a look. No. Four guns are still here. Ah, oh, maybe this OP takes out those guns. Oh, that could be the case, yeah. Well, then it could be that I take less damage if I come in from the left. Problem is, it's gonna divide my fleet. Okay, I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna test that for you live. <laughs> so yeah, it's not reaching that. Because, yeah, those four guns are doing damage. So I'm going to give that a go after this. So for the video, we're going to do the 103 two times. Just to test it, to give you all the latest info. Normally, with this, I'm between 50 minutes, an hour and 10. Between that, 50 minutes or 70 minutes. So, yeah, that's my... That's my line for these on auto. I'm gonna come in from not nine o'clock, but I think ten o'clock. Yeah, nine, ten o'clock. I'm gonna try that after this one. <clears throat> Keeping an eye on the length of this video. 33 minutes, okay, doable. It's going to be a longer one. Um, I'm, I already knew it because I, I wanted to talk about the BPN Discord, a little bit about uh, Prowler setup, three raid targets. Then, yeah, in between, I talk a little bit about tech stuff because it's auto. It's not like I got to talk about the driving, what I'm doing, why I'm going somewhere. So, yeah, just sit here literally with my hands on top of each other. Waiting for the target to die. Okay, almost done. Let's have a look. Moment of truth. How much is the repair time? We're gonna hit it again. So, click. One hour, seven minutes. It's between 15 minutes and an hour and ten every time. So, I'm gonna... Coin repair. Gonna 
away the bit. Take my resources home, always handy. Then launch fleet again. Here is a 103, so the right side and then bottom right. That's what we did. But now I say let's try left side and then a little bit higher. 10 o'clock entrance. Okay, we're going to try that. If the fleet splits, I'm going to intervene. I'm going to intervene because it otherwise it's just taking damage for nothing. But if it stays together, uh, it could be that it... No, it stays together. Okay, so let's see how this does. Best I had on this was 52 minutes. 52 is my, my, my least I have. And most is, yeah, 115 or something, or 116, 114, something like that, so... Okay, that kills two of the four turrets, so that's a major help. Or so I hope. I really like these sieges, they're really awesome on auto. Same for the current garrison hall, the covenants at X1 are also amazing on auto for the FM, for campaigns that need them. Yeah, I truly love it. Kixai did a good number on those, in my opinion, so... If it sucks, I'm the first to say, point the finger and say, do better. But if it's good, I'm also the first to say, kudos, love it. Gotta say it as it is, so. Yeah, it's gonna take out those turrets first. So if you drive, yeah, you should go out and go to the bottom or the top and kill the other OP. That should really lower your damage times but like I said I prefer auto I always did I always have I got too many things going on in the game and, and in real life so I always auto and my builds are tuned to that also I know a lot of people like auto but I think I'm one of the few people who shares the info surrounding it or makes even videos about auto combat When do those heavy guns die, or don't they die? Keeping an eye on it. Two more turrets, and they're still there, so... I thought all four died. Could be that it's not the case, but we will see. Got no idea damage-wise if this is better or not. Okay. Ah, yeah, the... Yeah, done. Let's have a look. One hour and seven or ten was the previous one, so let's see what this does. Whoa, 46 minutes. Yeah, I got a new entrance. 10 o'clock. You gotta enter at 10 o'clock. Um, what you see now is me taking a screenshot, if it shows. So yeah, I gotta update that on the pages. This is really, really good. So enter at 10 o'clock for less damage. So Next up is the 900 co-op targets. I'm doing those also on solo for around 1 hour and 10, 1 hour 25. It depends. It really depends. Um, going good so far. launch go up uh, the co-op i enter from the top so click click on the middle line downward and then join attack i tried several entrances here so uh, i tried the left side also on the 103 oh i gotta switch over target it's 900 that we're doing now so we are doing 900 and we enter that from the top centered position because it's not a fixed entry here and this is also on full auto no hands so yeah 
like I said, normally repair time here is between an hour and 10, an hour 25, it depends. Uh, I tried auto from the top, auto from the right side, and auto from the left side. And the top was the best. Um, the top was the best, so yeah. This is the last raid that we are doing with the prowlers. So my suggestion is um, once this raid ends, do not bother building or refitting or upgrading your prowlers. Now at this point, you should be working on the Myrmidons, the new tier 13 assault hull. That's a problem that a lot of people always make in this game. It's like... My fleet isn't ready. Yeah, your fleet isn't ready because yeah, you don't coin. I don't coin. And it's nothing, not the coining so much. It's just that poor ship build management. As soon as a raid has begun with the new hull, you should start working on that hull. So last night the raid started. I went for my points. I started building um, four empty hulls and i'm using the fm tokens from previous week this week so by the time vxp weekend comes along i have four empty hulls ready to rank with a, a, a silver uh, salty dog so and after that i start building and refitting and upgrading and so yeah by the time the raid starts you can't have four ships and a flag at u3 that's impossible. That can't be done. But you can have four ships at U2 and maybe one or two at U3. And you can have, with tokens, the flag built at, at U1 or maybe U2. That is completely possible by the raid start. So you can do that. You just got to manage it. And as I said, do not waste time in your shipyard refitting old holes. Like now the Prowler, it's sorry to say, but the Prowler now at this moment is an old hole. It's as simple as that. Here we go. It's gonna go around to the bottom, then to the right, up to that, those two turrets here. There, there, and then the target is done. Should be between an hour and 10 minutes and an hour 25 top, so yeah. We'll see how it goes. Little bit extra info about uh, the software that I'm using to record is OBS. I said a little bit more about that in my previous uh, video. OBS I use for recording videos. GIMP I use to edit my pictures and create my OBS overlays that you see here surrounding. And Blender is the program that I use to create my 3D logos, like the one that you see here at the top right saying we have 79 BPM Discord videos. Everything is created in there. Three fully free and legit programs that are both available for Windows as for Mac. I'm using a Mac now since Apple since two months, so yeah. It's a learning curve, but I'm getting there. Moment of truth. Oh click repair one hour 22 minutes so yeah 28 seconds so yeah that's that's kind of it um that's kind of it for now i think so I'm gonna go with video outro so that's it uh, i hope you like this video i hope by seeing the discord if you don't have a discord you create an account it's free no advertisement doesn't pay monthly subscription discord isn't planning on doing that it's free just like facebook is and will remain free so use it it's handy you get a lot of good info on it from my discord uh kick size discord Chances are the alliance that you are in also has a Discord, so you can join that also. So yeah, stuff like that. The video is almost 40, 45 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to keep it at this. Hope you like it and we'll see you maybe next week for VXP weekend that I do another video. I'm not sure. See you guys all later and up until the next video.